brand new mission. First target is uh, top back button. Look at that. Nice one. And I'm using the Equinox 600. Phil's over there with his Equinox 600. And uh, we get back to you if I'm anything else. can't go anywhere without a medieval beaver tail. Alright, we'll put that in the bag and take it away with us so no one else has to find it. Right, so that's target. See that down there? The old button. Paddy, pedaling my rain now. Just what we want. Right, on to the next. And yet another button. There you go, look. Another little tomback button. Still got its uh, loop on the back. Nothing on it. Just plain button. Right, oh, so there's an odd one. Can you see that little tiny disc? Got some writing on it. It says pull up to open. I don't know what that was off. It says it on both sides. There you go. And that was uh, an eight on the Nox. Just come out of that hole there on a 26. Big chunk of lead. Looks like it's got a hole through the middle of it. It may have a hole in it. Yeah. Look. Go in the melting pot anyway. I don't know what's up with my machine. It's chattering like mad at the moment. It must be sitting on something. Right, all right, Phil's just found general service button from down there somewhere by his feet. He's filled it in already. That's a nice one. Wow, I wouldn't expect to find that out here. Okay, go on to the, how about that then? That's just come from where my spade is. That was coming out 26 with a bit of an iron grunt to it, but I thought, oh well. I haven't dug any iron today, so we'll have a look. That's a whopper, isn't it? Come on, I'll put him in the electrolysis, he'll clean up nice. I'll put him by an oak tree and I'll pick him up later. I ain't lugging that around with me. God, that's a monster, look, I'll show you. Give you an idea, that's my spade, look. Look at the size of that. There's a whopper. Right, let's fill the old back in and move on. I think we've got a coin, a coin there, I think it's a penny by the look of it. Look there, oh, there it is. That was uh, 22. Yeah? Yeah, it's uh, 19, something like that. The back's all right, look. Look at that, look. Oh yeah. If you don't on it, I can't see my eyes are shut. Nineteen twenty eight. Yeah, nineteen twenty eight. That's George V, isn't it? Right, there you go. Cool. First coin. Woohoo! Right, we've got another button and sit you just there, look. See it? The tom back, big one this time. I think it's button number four, I think. Right, on to the next one. Oh, that was come out 14 15. No, it wasn't 16 17, sorry. Right, on to the next. Right, another little button, look, this little four hole button. That was uh, solid 19 in all directions. Uh, it was only about two inches down. Right, I don't know if we've got a bag seal. I don't know if this is going to focus. Can you turn it over, Phil? 1834 on that side. Well done, mate. That's it, you're not coming again. Oh. Coin there, look. That could be a modern one, I think. I'll come back to you in a minute. I know where Phil's got another bag seal. See if we can get a shot of it. That looks nice. Can you flip him over, Phil? 
Look at that. You can get it right way up. Yeah. So you put that on a piece of paper and give it a rub. You know what the tight of lovely that is. Let's say definitely that's it, you're not going in any other field. Hello. Button number six. Definitely button day, and it? It's raining again. Go away. Oh, a nice rain there. That's a, that was on an 18-19 about a uh, couple of inches, three inches down. And that's uh, a naval button, I think. Got a crown, king's crown on it with a fouled anchor. And it looks like, as you can see on the back, it was gilded at some time. A nice one, it'll look nice when it's cleaned up. Right, on to the next one. Right. It's got another coin out of that hole. That was 2021. Not sure what it is. Could be eightney. No, I don't think it is, it doesn't look as though, I don't know, it's copper, make out, just about make out a bust on that, I don't see which way it's facing though, I'll give it a clean when I get home. Alright, this could be the last one, I think uh, Phil's back at the vehicle having a coffee and something to eat and I'm starving hungry so, and wet through, so I might see you on the round up, I haven't given up yet, we're still going, I just found that down there, I've got an idea, that's um, like one of them little copper plates used to get on walking sticks. Got a couple of holes in it, but uh, I'll know more if there's anything on it when I give it a clean. Right, we're only going to do a quick look in the second field. So, we can right, back to that hole down there and out of that came that. Now if that's a stud, it's got a shank on the back. Whether it's a button or what, unusual. And yeah, dogs barking at us now. Right, I did a hell of a job finding this one. I found a big square nail on the bottom of the hole. But this one, if it will come up on here, look at that. It's got three dots at the top and three cannons. It looks like it was gilded at some time. And it looks like a livery button, unless it is a military button. I'll have to have a look when I get home. Shank's gone off the back though. See, it's just uh, no shank. Still see some gilding on the back of it though. Right, I will do the next one. Right, just found a doorknob. This will probably be the last one now as I think we're heading back. Right, I'll be back if there is another. Right, good evening everyone. This is a roundup from uh, 100 did last Thursday. I haven't uh, put it up yet because uh, I wanted to clear or clean the uh, the uh, hewing hatchet ha uh, head I found. Anyway, getting on with it. This was all the the rubbish we dug up. It's mainly um, aluminium melted uh, bits of pop cans and odds and sods. This was just the lead. Um, there is a bullet there, but it's a modern, I don't know what calibre that is, but it's a modern bullet, it's obviously hit something. The rest of it were just odds bits of lead. That was that little copper shield. I think it came off of a, like a walking stick or something like that. And a door handle, or a draw knob or something like that. Some other bits of brass, the brass ferrule, it's got some wood still inside it. 15 mil uh, water union or gas pipe, whatever you want to call it, brass screw. The uh, that half penny, I can't get anything off of it. The only thing I can see is the head on it is facing right, and it's not Edward the Seventh, so I think it's older than that. That one is a 1928 penny. I've got another one there which I haven't managed to get anything off it yet. It's so far gone, but I think it's a sixpence. And in that condition, I would think it's probably Cooper Nickel, so it's either an Elizabeth or uh, George VI. Uh, there's my buttons. There's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven buttons. Plus, I don't know where I've put them now. I've got some more buttons. 
Um, I can't believe it, I've eaten them. I'll come back to you in a minute when I found them. Right, back again. Right, uh, I was saying this, this one was a unusual button, I don't know if it's a button or a stud, but it's elliptical and it's got a, a shaft on the back of it. So I think it's too heavy for a button, it's probably a stud off a horse harness or something like that. Anyway, uh, I had a piece of coal, it's unusual, little bits of pottery, edge of a pot there. That was something that was unusual, it was a highly polished stone. I don't know what that was doing in the middle of that field. Right, hold the buttons I found. Now that one, see the three dots inside a shield and three cannons. That's uh, Royal Artillery and that dates from 1812 to 1825. It was gilded at one time, I don't know if you can quite see it on there, but there is some gilding on the back of the button. The gilding's gone off the front and it's made of brass. The unusual one was this one. If I can get it the right way up, that's the right way up there. And if you can make it out and get it at the right angle, but it's a Queen's Crown on there with a fouled anchor underneath it inside an oval. And it's an iron button and it was gilded as well. And it's Royal Navy and again it dates from 1812 to uh, 1825 so same date as the Royal Artillery button I will have a look to see if I've got some pictures of uh, Phil's two lead tokens he had they were both turns out to be Russian um, cloth bale seals right anyway I hope you enjoyed the video we enjoyed the hunt and uh, hope to be out there again same place next week Catch you all in the next video.